situation presently demands a more radical approach than the usual dialogue and discussions. Because what our members expect now is to see how we can get onto the table for government to recognize the dire economic situation and how it is impacting on us and do something immediately because you cannot postpone suffering. You cannot postpone hunger. You understand? If you used to buy one cylinder LPG at a certain price yeah, yeah, yeah. and it has gone up by 35% since October, October, it tells you that you cannot buy that same quantum. And so maybe either you go and look for some fuel wood somewhere to augment your, 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 your energy needs, domestic energy needs. So we felt that the situation that we find ourselves, and please, the politician did not just wake up overnight and realize that we are in this situation, nor did the worker rise up one night and realize that we are having some level of challenges. So we felt that the approach ought to be a little bit radical. And when I use the term radical here, I am not talking about violence. Mm -hmm. I am talking about a more radical approach in finding immediate solutions so as to hold at bay the extent of pressure on the worker. Then we can go on and look at the general economy. Because you see, the politician made promises to you and I. And those who were supposed to interrogate the politician wanted to be politically correct and allow the politician to go awry when basic economic principles indicated to us, even at the time the politician was making those promises, that those promises were not going to be sustainable.